Nuclear mutant daisies, they are sprouting up all around the site of the Fukushima nuclear reactor four years after the devastating tsunami which hit Japan in 2011. Now photographs of the deformed flowers are going viral on social media after they were posted by a Twitter user, San Kaido, who spotted them in Nasu Shiobara city which is located about 70 miles from Fukushima, so it's kind of far away. We can kind of see if, wait a minute, if that is indeed the case here. If it is nuclear daisies that we're looking at, we could see that that uh, radiation has spread pretty far. Now, just to take you back real quick, in 2011, three of the main six nuclear reactors failed. They melted down, exploded. Huge disaster, which Japan is still grappling with today. And we see the effects. This, these daisies are just, you know, the latest in a long list of side effects. And I it's mean, freaky. They, yeah, let's get a picture of them one more time. They look like something's from Little Shop of Horrors. It looks like they have mouths. It's just creepy. Nick, yeah, we're, we're laughing at this. And it is funny. Yes. But the reality, like, s spilling... You know, on the ground, the radioactive matter that seeped into the soil, and people have to go back and live live like this. They declared it partially safe or safe. I, I'm, right. I'm not Medium sure. Medium to long term habitation is considered. I safe I mean, can for you now. can you imagine what this is going to do to women who become pregnant? Um, oh, yeah. The elderly. What are the cancer rates going to be like in 20 years? What are we going to see come out of this area that is just as messed up as this daisy? Only it's it's. You know, it's people that we're talking about. Right, and you know, this picture went viral, and I, I initially just looked at it because the picture looks freaky, and I was kind of thinking, wow, this is nuts. But, but it's important, because we're coming at a time when Japan is in the middle of rebuilding these areas, and they're moving people back. These mo they're moving 7,000 people back into their homes near those reactors. That's a lot of people who could potentially be exposed to toxins that are still in the ground. Mm -hmm. And plants like this, in my opinion, show it. Although some scientists are saying, yes, that can definitely, they all agree that this can happen from uh, radiation, but some are kind of saying, well, no, this could just be a mutated daisy, you know, naturally occurring, because that does happen as well, but it seems right a little next fishy to the that it's happening. That leaked. Exactly my point. And not to mention all the radioactivity that was spewed out into the ocean as well. Uh. It's you know, just I just I feel for these people that have to move back to this. Are we going to see another Chernobyl? Like women having, you know, severely handicapped and disformed babies because they happen to live next to a place where something like this happened? I mean, is that a possibility here? It is, and and the government is already expecting to see a spike in cancer because of it uh. because they're eating fish that were exposed, we're eating vegetables that are grown in soil. I mean, right. you know, we blame Japan a lot for having the nuclear reacting on the ocean, but if you've seen a map of Japan, it's a very skinny country with a very mountainous center. So that everything, almost all of the population is living on these coasts. So that's where everything is essentially. But one thing to take away from all this, and I, I hope humans learn their lesson, is that a lot of people agree that the Fukushima disaster was completely man-made. It could have been foreseen. I mean, it could have it been, been. It been was stopped. preventable, but environmental disasters happen. That's just the reality of life. But I it's mean, up to us to take the proper measures to make sure that it doesn't result in a spewing out of radioactivity all over populated areas. We're talking about 300,000 people that had to be evacuated. No one saw this coming. I mean, I know that they don't have many other places to put the nuclear reactors, but it's a matter of being safe and taking the necessary precautions because the government has been accused of not taking those necessary precautions. So the fact that this was, you know, man-made ordeal, whether it's, whether it's actually, whether we're talking about Chernobyl, whether we're talking about this, whether, whether we're talking about us, Americans dropping chemicals on Vietnam, which also, for generations to come, people are being mm -hmm. born with birth defects in Vietnam. It's man-made and it's very sad and we need to get our shit together, but these daisies, what I'm saying is just another sign of that, and I think that's a very interesting point that we have these mutant daisies that look freaky. Usually daisies are cute flowers, but they're freaky. We want to know what you guys have to say. Do you think this has to do with the nuclear, nuclear disaster in Fukushima, or is it just a coincidence we're seeing mutant daisies sprouting up in the Fukushima area? Let us know. Please comment, and if you haven't already, subscribe to the Lip TV for more.